this video on um, continuation of a Vesica Pisces using it as a template, but I'm really going to get into Phi and finding um, uh, both through Pythagorean theorem and um, uh, drawing it with the geometry, I'm going to create what's called uh, hermetic triangles. Uh, these are really cool and, and, and are only discovered in 2013 by Javier Roman, Romanek and Mario Toboso. I'll include the link to um, Javier Roman, Romanek series. There's something about Phi, it's a great series, and I'll um, put specifically episode 12 and Hermetic Triangles. So, um, uh, also, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, as I mentioned, that's again one of the basics of geometry, Euclid Book 1, Proposition 47. And if you're interested in this area, uh, a great book I just read on it is uh, Hidden Harmonies by Robert Kaplan and Ellen Kaplan. It's a, uh, a history of Pythagorean theorem, but also uh, a collection of proofs. So it's um, even if you're not in, into what hardcore, you still might enjoy it. Okay, so let's begin with hermetic triangles, creating a phi uh, ruler, phi ratio, and then proving it with some really simple maths to show um, how the geometry and the numbers work. But first, if we what is phi? Phi is a very special number, very special ratio, and one way to find it, phi equals square root of five plus one over two. And if we plug that in, that works out to be 1 1.6180339887489849 Four, eight, four, and it will carry on forever and ever. It's a lot like pi. Um, now, it's very easy to draw. We begin with the construction line. And then we're, gonna, then we're going to draw a vesica Pisces on that line to create a 90 degree right angle. From that, we can create a 90 degree triangle very easily. So Vesica Pisces. Construction line. A uh, good way to draw um, lines is to put your pencil or pen on that point, hold it there, put the ruler against it and we get a good line that way. And now we've created a 90 degree angle and we're going to use this as the um, frame to build uh, a right angle triangle and a very simple one we can uh, yeah. I'm just going to just uh, separate it from the vesica I'm going to call I've marked the horizontal now I'm going to do the same on the vertical line put my point and so what we've done is we have one wide and two high. Simple as that. Okay, so just to highlight out one, two, three points. And now we can bring them together and create a right angle triangle. know this triangle to be a right angle triangle and to be one by two either side of the right angle. And now we're going to, um, using Pythagorean theorem, well, first of all let's create the pi ratio, sorry, pi ratio. Uh, now we have one, two, three lines, so let's call this A. This is B, and the long diagonal, the hypotenuse, is C. So what we're going to prove is that C plus A over B equals 5. Our compass is still set there. But now, right, what we need to do is go to that point, and 
open it to the length of the hypotenuse to the long diagonal. We arc this down where it crosses. And extend. So we have A, which we know to be one. B, we know to be two. And so now we have A plus C, and this is equal to five. Highly, highly accurate. Just to explain by a fire ruler. Now on the, this yellow section and this green section. The fire is green as one is yellow. So if this length is one, this length is 1.618033988. And what's um, very cool, very neat about this is we can now also use Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared to prove that. And so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A is one. One squared plus b two. Therefore, c. Therefore, it would be um, c squared. So therefore, one plus four equals five. Therefore, c squared equals five. Therefore, c equals the square root of five. Now we can say that if this is one, if this is two, therefore that is the square root of five. C plus A over B equals five. C is the square root of five. A is one plus one over B, two. Five squared plus square root of five plus one over two equals five. Well, we've already shown that here. So uh, this is a, um, you can create a fire ruler or what's called a golden rectangle. Phi by one. Right, these are hermetic triangles. This is the um, Euclid goes back over 2000 years. And as far as um, the discoverers, Javier Romanek and Mario Tobosa, they were the first to come across it in 2013. Um, also going to include a link to one or two videos relate, related to phi, this number, uh, this ratio, and why is it so important in nature. Um, you'll see it best represented through Fibonacci numbers, but geometrically, mathematically, things like the pentagram, shells, pine, cone, pine cones, sunflower flowers, uh, the arrangement of of leaves around branches, so so much is um, relates back to phi, and that's why this particular number and this ratio and, uh, are so important. Thank you.